It's been a month. Never think I'd see YouTube again. I think I actually thought I would abandon my channel, but turn into something amazing. So, where have I been for the past month? Uh, so, I went the first time I went shooting. It was a about a month ago, and um, I fell in love with with guns. Um, after the first time I went shooting, I got home and I was like, "Oh, that was pretty fun." I think I'm gonna make Lego versions of there um, of real guns, and so I've been pretty busy with making Lego guns, um, and. Uh, I don't have any pistols or um, anything like that. Um, they're just all rifles and different caliber and stuff. Um, but that's where I've been for the past month, uh, making Lego guns and fun stuff. So uh, I might change my channel name to something else, something related to guns and Legos and stuff. Um, if you have any video ideas or uh, channel name ideas, maybe leave a comment down below. That would be greatly appreciated. Uh, so now, let's get into the guns. First up, the Thompson submachine gun right here. This is what the gangsters used back in the, <laughs> back in the 1930s. Um, this was a pretty popular gun back then. We got the stock, we got iron sights, the rear, and the front up here we got the barrel um, the trigger all of my guns have moving triggers this one is just a little bit different than some others um, removable drum this holds 50 rounds it's a 30 caliber fully automatic because it's a Thompson submachine gun <sighs> getting it's detaching the and removing the drum isn't a isn't a big deal it's putting it back in because you have to kind of squeeze it since it's a pretty heavy piece. Um, it's just a little bit annoying. No big deal though. Um, so that is the Thompson submachine gun. You got four grip barrel. <sighs> okay, now the next one that I'm gonna pull up here is the LWRC AR. So this one, again, all my guns have detachable magazines. Um, this is a 17-round uh, mag. It's a 5.56. Five, Got the magazine well there, pretty standard. And none of my guns shoot. I forgot to mention that. None of them shoot. They're just for looks, I guess. Um, this one, a little bit unique. Um, we got the priming handle right here that's actually spring powered. There's a spring inside here that when I pull it back, that's creating, that's stretching the spring so that when I let go of it, the spring returns it. So it's actually spring powered, which is pretty cool. Um, we got iron sights. We got the front one. We got the rear one. This barrel from here to here is about eight inches. Got a muzzle brake there. Got holes. And the side of the barrel, just like in real life on the LWRC rifles. Uh, got an AR style stock, the kind of kind of that L shaped um, stock with the slant here. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, and there's a tactical rail that goes all across the top of the gun. And the iron sights, in case if you're wondering, are removable. So if I wanted to put on something like a red dot or something, or a scope, I totally could. Um, but I don't have any other um, sights or attachments, so these will have to do for now. But they're not, they're not too bad. Um, I actually, I actually uh, like them. It, yeah, that is the LWRC. Okay, now the next one. is the AK-47. Um, it's Russian made and the only reason 
and the only way that my armory, Charlie's Armory, in case if um, you were wondering what the name was, um, the only reason, or the only way we can sell this is because we're, we're an international arms dealer, so we're allowed to sell um, foreign guns like the AKs or the Uzis, which are made by made in Israel, I think. Um, and what we're known for here at Charlie's Armory is automatic weapons. And we've been making some pretty good money off of those. So we're we're definitely, we've only been around for um, a month. So um, we're actually, the rate we're going at, we're gonna, we're gonna have no problems financially. But onto this AK. So you got the priming handle right here. Again, spring returned. And got the that AK front sight. Um, the trigger design on this one is a little bit different. It's just a stick versus the uh, some of the others, um, other than the Thompson, have that little gray um, curve piece that um, goes all the way up into this part of the gun and the rubber band. Um, I put a rubber band on it, so when it's in this position, it's stretching the rubber band. When I release it, it goes back into its original form. Uh, removable magazine, obviously, and you actually have to put it in like an AK, like, like that. Because if you put it in straight, I thought this was pretty interesting, because I didn't mean to make it this way. When you put it in straight, it actually doesn't... Um, stay in very well so yeah that's that's what happens when you put it in straight but this is a 762 um, uh, this is a 30 round mag put it in like an AK attack uh, grail all the way across the top of the gun we got that AK styled stock that slanted that slanted look to it. Um, got the barrel. Um, yeah, that is the AK. On to my personal favorite, um, the Heckler and Coke MP5. So this gun is by far my favorite in terms of design and looks and stuff. It, 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 it's so awesome. In real life too. It's I've, I've been into Black Ops 2, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 recently, and it's my MP5 is my favorite gun in the game. It's, it's, it's just so good. It's a hard gun to put down. Um, but we got the selector switch, select fire, so in here... It's safety right there. Here it's semi-auto, and down here is full auto or automatic. Um, so, you know, when you re reload it, you can take the magazine out. The magazine wall is pretty standard, just like pretty much every other. Nine millimeter, again, 30 round mag, just like the AK. Uh, we put it in, prime it, and you're good to go. And that has that slanted, like, banana curve to it. Got the front sight and the rear sight. Um, got the stock on the real MP5. It actually has an adjustable stock. This one is not adjustable. It's, it's fixed. Um, but, you know, still pretty cool. And it's actually, actually pretty comfortable. It's actually functional. You can actually put pressure against the stock or against your shoulder, and it's not going to break which I thought was extremely cool. Um, but yeah, to load it, you can do the, the uh, you know, famous H and K slap like that, or you can just do that and make it easy on yourself. And actually watch right here, that jam door right there. When I, when the priming handle goes forward, that closes and when that closes, you really don't want to put your finger in there. I've done it once on purpose just to see what it feels like, and not very good. I don't recommend doing that. Um, 
So that is the MP5. Now for the big one. Oh boy. This one, 50 caliber. This is sniper rifle, the SRS 99 S5AM. And if you can guess what Halo game this is from, you get a gold star. You, you will get a gold star. Um, and you'll most likely, I will most likely uh, love your comment if you can guess what Halo game this is from. Um, comes in at about two and a half pounds, three and a half feet long, including the barrel. Can't even fit it all in frame. <laughs> Um, this is just the uh, standard sniper rifle. Uh, got the, the scope. Got the circle camera here and the square camera there. Um, and it's a 50 caliber, four round magazine. And to show you how big the magazine is, here I can see if I can set this down. Holy crap, this is big. If I can set that down. Uh, just to show you how big the the magazine is here um, It's it fits in the palm of my hand perfectly. It's it's huge and uh, Let's put it in magazine well standard as usual um, all the features of it moving trigger like all of them uh, Scope magnifies times one, which basically means it doesn't magnify at all. Um, got the foot and a half long barrel, with the uh, muzzle brake at the end of it. I got bipod right here. Uh, this in the game, it's not used, but it's actually a carry handle, and it's really not that realistic. I wish they didn't do that in the Halos, like Halo 2 Anniversary and Halo Reach don't have carry handles on them, um, which makes them more realistic, and that's why they're my two favorite Halos of all time, um, or at least one of the reasons why, um, but yeah, you can, priming handle right here, again, spring return, um, so, you know, after you shoot it and the magazine is empty, you put a new one in, prime it, and then you're you're good to go. Or if you don't use up all the rounds and there's still one in the chamber, you can take that out, put a new one in, and it'll just keep feeding um, the uh, rounds because there's already one in the chamber and it's going to do the same thing as if it was the same magazine. So. You don't need to private again if you don't use the entire magazine. Um, you got the, you got it has a thumb hole stock just like the real game. End of the gun right there. Bipod and carry handle are not functional. Um, what was I think? I think that's that's it for this uh, this gun and. Uh, that is all of the guns. Make sure to leave a comment down below. Which gun was your favorite? My favorite is the MP5. That that will always have a special place in my heart. Um, yeah, uh, let me know which one was your favorite. And uh, like I said, you will get a love from, uh, from me uh you will get a heart from me if you can guess what Halo game the sniper rifle is from. Um, and that's it. I have five guns working on um, working on more. Um, I think the next one I'll make is uh, the Uzi made by the made by uh, Israel or made in Israel. Um, but I'll wrap it up for this video. Thanks for watching and uh, Stay cool and stay safe.